Hello, my little pango pups. I'm TJ Starblood, and today we're making fudge. Now, I have a really simple fudge recipe I pretty much have memorized at this point. So the first thing we need is butter, unsalted butter. We need just a couple tablespoons of it. Just gonna... That is probably more than we need, actually, and I didn't cut that straight at all. <laughs> oh well. I'm the only one who uses this butter. Turn the heat on. Also, if you guys remember from when I made meatballs, I put my phone up on, like, plates and on books and stuff just to keep it, you know, from falling. Now... I have this new little phone tripod, so I don't have to do that shit. I want about one can of condensed milk. This is 300 mils. The actual recipe calls for about 400 mils. But, you know, that's why I put in a little less butter and a little less um, chocolate chips. Ooh. Oh, 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 geez. That was eventful. Just put the whole thing in there. I don't know if the spoon's gonna do any good. Probably need to get a spatula out. Okay, that's pretty much all of that we're gonna get out of there. Now we add our chocolate chips. Now, like I said, the recipe calls for about three cups. But we're gonna do a little bit less. Actually, we're gonna use my other measuring cup. We're gonna put about two cups of chocolate chips in to use up my semi-sweet dark ones first. I have just, just a tiny little bit left of this. I have of the semi-sweet dark ones. I do have more chocolate chips, but they're different flavors. So the other flavors I have are mint chocolate chips and the white ones. I think today we're gonna use the white ones. We'll save the mint ones for another day. So we'll just take a knife. I don't know if anybody else uses a knife to um, to open chocolate chips. I do, I use knives. I use knives to open everything without cutting my finger off like an imbecile. Okay. So we're gonna want about, mm, Two and a half cups chocolate chips. Ooh, I might not have enough, actually. Yeah, because this is only one cup. I guess we'll be trying out the mint chocolate chips after all. You know, chocolate is the um, main ingredient in fudge. That was one cup. We might only have enough for two cups, honestly. But that's all right. Oh my gosh, these mint ones. You know mint chocolate chip ice cream? That's what these mint chocolate chips smell like. Or like those mint flavored kisses. Jesus Christ, that smells amazing. I gotta get more of these. It's an emergency, boys. We're out of chocolate chips. Okay, so there'll be less chocolate chips in this one than usual. That's okay, because like we said at the beginning, I didn't have enough evaporated milk for the entire recipe. So now, 
we just stir. Probably should put that next to the heat. <laughs> Sometimes even you can add like extracts, like vanilla extract. If you want to add like a little bit of flavor to your fudge. I put mint stuff in the other last time or... No, 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 I put um, as raspberry in actually. Last time I made fudge, just a little bit of raspberry extract. Oh, it was so good. It was. I love experimenting when baking sometimes. I don't do it often. I don't bake and cook as much as I probably should or probably would like to. So I don't know if you can see that you can. It's becoming more of a brown color before it was the same color as the condensed milk and the butter. I do, I hate stirring. Freaking arthritis in your hand and shit. If you're a writer or an artist who will like sit there and hold a pen for hours on end, you know the pain. Now think about it, I probably should use a spatula for this nicer to get it like out of the pot and make sure it doesn't burn to the bottom. Oh my gosh. It smells like mints. It's so good. very chunky which is also not what we want so our fudge is nice and smooth so we're gonna put it in our pre-grease pan so here's our pre-grease pan now we're just gonna pour our fudge mixture into the pan. Oh, man. oh, it burnt to the bottom a little bit. That's okay. It still smells like mint chocolate chip. Okay, so there's a little bit, it's a little bit burnt. Not gonna lie to you guys. It burnt to the bottom a little bit, but that's okay. Because you know what? The burn bits are still pretty good, actually. I kinda like them. Now we're gonna refrigerate our fudge for about three hours. So I'll get back to you on how it tastes. All right, guys, so it has been three hours. Now it's time for the taste test. good and solid. It's got a couple chunks in there that didn't quite melt all the way, but mm. it's still a little bit gooey, but other than that, yeah, I did burn it a little bit. So, now I know for next time, be a little more careful and uh, 
leave it in the fridge for a little bit longer. But it's nice and minty. Like, the flavor is really good. Those mint chocolate chips. And there's, like, there's a slight extra flavor from the, the white chocolate chips that you can kind of taste. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really good. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Stay safe, wear your seatbelts, drink water, wear your life jackets, and everybody have a good day. Bye, guys.